In this video, I'll explain how impacted earwax can cause ringing in the ears. This is pure tinnitus. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson, audiologist and tinnitus specialist. Give us a thumbs up on this video because if you don't, YouTube doesn't recommend our video to anyone else. Hit that red subscribe button to get our new video every week and hit the notification bell to get an alert when we put out new content. You might be wondering, is earwax causing ringing in my ears? First, let's explain the hearing system. Earwax collects in our ear canal. The ear canal ends at the eardrum and behind the eardrum, there's our three hearing bones and the hearing organ are cochlea. A small amount of earwax is healthy and natural, but over time earwax can build up and cause an impaction, which can be a problem. It's common to have impacted earwax when you have small ear canals, or you use Q-tips regularly, or you use earbuds regularly. Significant earwax causes temporary hearing loss. If earwax causes your temporary hearing loss, that means that sound is not able to go through your ear canal through the hearing organ, the cochlea, and eventually up to the auditory brain. Temporary hearing loss from earwax can create a temporary hearing loss all the way up into the auditory brain. Temporary hearing loss causes temporary tinnitus. Tinnitus is ringing in the ears. So the link from the earwax causes a chain reaction all the way up, which creates temporary tinnitus. The good news is that when we remove the earwax, your hearing typically returns back to normal. And when your hearing returns back to normal, then the tinnitus goes away. So that means if earwax was causing your hearing loss and creating ringing in the ears, then removing the earwax will return everything back to normal. Now let's talk about earwax removal. First thing, do not use Q-tips. Q-tips likely push the earwax in deeper and are not gonna help you remove it. Number two, do not try to remove the earwax at home by yourself if you have a hole in your eardrum. There's two ways to remove earwax at home by yourself. The first uses eardrops. I put a link in the description below to the most highly rated eardrops that you can use at home to soften the wax and then remove it. The second most common way to remove earwax at home is to use a syringe with some spray and then the earwax will come out naturally. I also put a link to that product in the description below. You may be interested in trying ear candling at home. I don't strongly recommend this. Dr. Cliff made a video about this. You can check that out in the description below. The best way to have earwax removed by a professional is to go see your primary doctor, an ear, nose, and throat ENT physician, or an audiologist. Those professionals have training, expertise, and tools. They can do an ear wash, they can do a vacuum, or they can do a curette to scoop out the earwax. All right, so now you've learned how earwax can cause ringing in the ears. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. In the description below, you'll find a link to our free newsletter to stay connected to Pure Tinnitus. And the best way to show your support would be to press that red subscribe button to the Pure Tinnitus YouTube channel. That's all we have for today. And remember, take your journey one step at a time.